Hi, Bryce fans. Strategy is an important part of football. When you get a goal like that, it satisfies all the members of the team because it is born out of work well done in the trainings and something very difficult to achieve. Let's get to the whiteboard and enjoy them. We start with a goal scored by Amor in the 1990-1991 season against Sporting at home in a rehearsed play that was simple but effective. Koeman is situated to throw the free kick and the idea is simple. Everybody knows that the Dutch is a specialist in cannonballs and he is expected to shoot. So instead of shooting, Ronald sends it to Amor, who is waiting, slipping to receive his teammate's pass. Without controlling it, Guillermo shoots and he makes a tremendous shot that enters like a missile in the Asturian goal. Luis Enrique's technical staff is very creative when it comes to designing strategies. This goal by PK against Villarreal in the 2015 Copa semifinals is a good example of it. Messi is the one kicking the corner with lots of swerve to the agreed place. But check the moves that take place before the ball gets to the shooting area. Mathieu doesn't slip to shoot, but he does it to be followed and create a space where Piquet will arrive and where Messi will send a cross pass. Check as well how Suarez blocks to make sure Piquet will end up alone for the one-on-one -on -one against Musacchio and take advantage of the space Mathieu has created. Luis Enrique in Unzue's celebration confirms that something went well. Pujol scored a very important goal in the historic 2-6 from the 2008-2009 season at Santiago Bernabéu thanks to a strategic play. Because Guardiola's technical staff worked this side of the game very well. Barca has a foul, received in the lateral near the Madrid area, and they set up a machinery which Xavi starts by raising his right arm. The targets of said signal are Pujol and Piquet, who perform the following. P.K. blocks his defender, Mitzalder Aniwain too, who was defending Pujol, giving him some leverage to slip and be left alone. Xavi knows this and sends him the ball knowing everything that's going to happen. The result is a great goal to remember and an iconic celebration. We continue with another goal designed in the lab of Luis Enrique, Unzue and company. In Barca's first visit to Eibar's field, the whiteboard was the star. Check the behavior of Bartra and Piquet. In parallel, they are both dragging their defenders to create space behind them that Messi will use. That's what happens and Rakitic sends a precise cross pass to the area that Leo uses to shoot with his head and score a goal that will sentence the game at Iporua, proving how important it is to work with a strategy. Check the celebration of the goal, the way the players get together knowing they have achieved success after a collective collaboration. Particularly Bartra and Piquet, who raised their fists pointing out at the bench as a sign of complicity with the staff. And we reach our number one. The team scored a strategic goal like no other and very difficult to execute at Recreativo de Huelva's pitch in the 2008-2009 season. Barca has a foul to their favor just outside the area with Xavi and Alves prepared to shoot. But Messi behaves strangely. Chucky is hidden in Recreativo's wall, waiting for something to happen. And what happens is Xavi pretends to shoot and he actually sends an inside pass to Leo as he slips behind the wall, ending up in the perfect position to shoot. And he does it so with a strong low shot. With this goal, we open the scoring in a very difficult game that proves that strategy, if it's done well, can be an important part of a team's success.